Hello viewers of YouTube, this is Brandon here getting ready to do another review for you guys and um, today is a special review because I want to do a review on my uh, Power Rangers Morpher collection uh, as you can see in front of you this is the Power Ranger Wind Morpher from um, Power Rangers Ninja Storm uh, one of my favorite Power Rangers series um, of all time um, I really like the design of this Morpher mainly because I like the black, gold, and the red uh, on the back of the Morpher you can see I have the Thino Thunder um, wristband. The reason why I put the Dino Thunder wristband on the um, Wind Morpher is because in the Power Rangers uh, Ninja Storm series their wristbands are actually gold and not black. Uh, the standard um, the standard wristband I got from um, with Hasbro, was, not Hasbro, sorry Bandai was the um, was a black uh, wristband and in the show it wasn't really black so I decided to change it to a nice little you know gold but anyway, uh, this is a cool morpher. It has the Red Ranger's um, power coin at the top, which is like a hawk or um, an eagle or something like that, or a falcon. Um, it spins around to have like that cool little future when they um, morph. They do, you know, the whole Ninja Storm Ninja form, and they spin that little power coin. Um, you also have your morpher button, your call button, and this little button right here is a cool little future because... Uh, it's what they used in the show. Uh, it's kind of like a ninja strike or a ninja blast that they use with their morphers. So I'll show you how that works now. Um, the on and off switch is right here on the side, as you can see. Just flick that on and you'll get like an indication of a little sound. Um, so uh, if you want to morph, you just press this button right here. And you just spin this. And you get that cool uh, little sound on the morph. Um, you also got your lights up here at the top, but you really can't see it. I'm actually outside during the day. Um, I'll press the call button so you guys can see that little red light. And you can turn it off by pressing it again. If you keep it on, it'll last for about a good 10 seconds, and then, you know, it'll fade away. But uh, if you want to turn it off, you just press it again like that, and it's off. Um, now, this cooler future right here I want to show you, this is the... Um, Ninja Blast I was telling you about. You just press this. Makes that little noise. I'll show you again. And when you press that, um, just like they do in the cartoons, you can spin this and it makes like these battle sounds where you um, they shoot off like these little Ninja Blasts. At least that's what I think they call them. And that's the sound of basically the Ninja Blast. But um, anyway, like I said, um, I took the uh, original wristband off and put the Dino Thunder, mainly because they're, you know, wristbands for gold. Um, I got to say, I do like the uh, workmanship on the um, the Morpher. It's real nice. Um, it's like a complete, uh, accurate replica, I guess you can say, of the ones from the show. And uh, most of the times, I really think they'd use the toys for the show, Um if I'm, you know, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I think it looks great. It's a nice morpher. Uh, I might sell it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. But if you guys can convince me to sell them, hey, I'll put them on eBay. You know, set up a little PayPal account, whatever, and let you guys um, order them. So that's it for this review. The next review would be the Thunder Morpher. I'm sure you remember Hunter and Blake. I would do that one for you, and um, hopefully you guys will like it. So thanks for watching.